Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm your host Insomniac, aka Princey, and today we'll be doing a video on Five Laps at Freddy's. Yes, the demo is out and I just wanted to do a very quick video and just kind of share my thoughts on it as someone who just played the demo and someone who is was really defending the demo to my grave on Twitter. I know, I'm sorry, kind of cringe, but on Twitter I did defend it quite a lot and I do stand by a lot of what I said. Now, before I get into this, keep in mind that this is just my opinion. This is also not scripted, so if some things don't make sense, sorry, suck it up, buttercup. This is just how I am sometimes. And also, I wanted to make this video because I just really like the concept and I like the game. So just keep in mind, I am going to be a little bit biased, but also just being brutally honest of the state of the demo and just all that together. Out of the way. Let's begin. The first thing that I think is important to mention is the fact that this is, of course, a demo. This is a very early build of the game. There will be a ton of bugs. There will be flashing lights. There will be a ton of issues. So before you watch the rest of my videos, just keep that in mind, as well as before you even play the game. Again, keep that in mind as this is, again, a early build. A lot of people seem to be very harsh on it, saying that it is not FNAF like enough. And to an extent, I actually do agree. I think that for the most part it is FNAF like because when you say it's not FNAF enough it really doesn't make that much sense because we already have games in the FNAF universe in a way like I guess FNAF world where it's not quote unquote FNAF enough we got FNAF world we got the fighter game we have Freddy in space and a bunch of other FNAF related games that aren't quote unquote FNAF enough for a lot of people and so to call this game that is clearly just a Mario Kart clone a not a FNAF enough game just doesn't really make any sense to me as someone who played Mario Kart growing up, as someone who played knockoff Mario Kart games growing up, and of course as someone who just played Five Laps of Freddy's. It's obviously not meant to be a FNAF game that is for the main storyline, and if it is canon to the story, or at least some of it is, then okay, that's fine. But that shouldn't be the main focus of if you enjoy the game or if you don't enjoy the game. Now, as you can see on screen, all of this is raw footage of just me playing the game and me having fun and me enjoying the game. The only thing that I can say about the actual screen itself, the first screen, the menu screen, is that I don't really vibe with the pixel art, and by pixel art I mean the menu, like the options tab, that just seems very not good. It just feels very rushed and I guess that makes sense because again it is a demo and I feel like a lot of people are going to be harsh on the demo but that is the only issue I really have with the actual menu itself. Now when it comes to the gameplay I will say that drifting is actually really hard to do as you're doing this on a keyboard with you know no experience and for me I actually I know I kind of suck at this game. It was a massive learning curve. I really did struggle to learn how to drift in this game as it's been a very long time since I've ever played one of these games and I actually found a couple bugs while doing this. In I believe it's the factory one. I will you'll you'll see it on screen, I believe as I continue talking. I actually ended up being able to fall through one of the crack areas and I got to see behind the wall and was actually stuck there and I wanted to see what I could do so I started playing around in that area and it's definitely a spot where you can't exactly get out of it and the game won't take you out of it either. It won't do the whole like 3, 2, 1 bullshit and send you back out. You'll, you're just stuck there unless you go into a specific position where you can no longer move, which I think definitely should be a major fix because that is rather annoying. Another issue that I had, which did actually cause my eyes to hurt quite a lot, and they really should fix this because it is a big deal and it also hurt my ears, was during one of the games, I don't know how it happened, but I somehow ended up glitching with a bunch of the other cars and static started playing and it was extremely loud in my ears. Now, maybe I'm the only one that experienced this, but it was not enjoyable at all and it did hurt quite a lot. And I sat there waiting for something to happen only for nothing to happen because the game itself was stuck and I couldn't really do anything and there was nothing really I could do. And so I had to restart entirely which is another big issue. One other bug that I actually came across was during the Midnight Motorist one. I hit the wall and somehow my character stayed at the wall. It's very hard to tell in my recording, but in one of the laps you can actually see my character is still in the wall despite me still playing 
the actual game and doing laps around, you can see my character is just stuck. It doesn't seem to be able to affect me. I think it, I just kind of went through it. I believe I could be wrong, but it's still there and that's still a huge issue that I have with this demo. One other issue is the fact that your competitors can randomly show up at any point and by randomly show up, I don't mean they can, you know, just like zoom past you. I mean, I had some of them showing up behind me in front of me randomly. I had some of them like no clipping and going on top of my car and then being unable to get off of my car, thus making me fail the actual run. Another issue is they can jump over the cars in Midnight Motorist, but you cannot. That's right, the AI competitors can jump over the cars, making it easier for them to win, but you have no ability to jump over them. I did try to jump over them multiple times, and it just doesn't work, and that is a huge issue. Another issue that I had with this game is the fact that there is a day and night cycle for every single place, but they don't feel unique, they all feel the same. The only one that's different is the Midnight Motorist, because again, it's Midnight Motors. It looks different for a reason. And it actually looks kind of good and also bad in a not so great way. When it is on the actual track of the, again, Midnight Motors game that you play in Ultimate Custom Night, I believe it's Ultimate Custom Night, no, sorry, that you play as in Pizzeria Simulator, my bad. It is a very short run, and that kind of sucks. It's a very short part of that whole track, and yet the track is named after it. But also, once you're out of that area, it gets extremely dark during night, and it's very hard for you to see. I bumped into stuff quite a lot of times, and the only way that I was able to, you know, not bump into stuff was following the eyesore that is the actual blood on the ground, which is extremely hard to do considering, again, the drifting is really hard, and also, again, it's very dark. So it's just really hard for me to actually enjoy that and be able to see it. One other issue I had is that Balloon Boy, at least in my opinion, he is very dark, and I don't mean this in a bad way, you can make your characters dark, I don't give a fuck, okay, you do you, boo boo. The issue is that Balloon Boy is dark as fuck in the actual game, and is like tan orange, but the actual model on the side that shows him is like a very pale color, and I, I know that this is gonna sound really stupid and nitpicky, but the character's colors look nothing alike in the actual model versus the model on the side. Same with every other character. The model on the left side looks very bright compared to the model on the right side. Also, Bloom Boy's model does not look finished at all. There is... you cannot tell me otherwise. It's not finished, it's definitely not polished, and again, I know that this is a demo, but if this is a demo to showcase your work, I do expect at least balloon- like, the characters that you're letting us play as to be finished, and they aren't, which is a huge, huge issue. To recap, not only did the model look a little off, there was a ton of bugs that happened, and also, I can't really seem to get the items to work for me. I did try clicking multiple buttons, and the items just didn't work for me. Maybe they're just for show, I have no fucking clue. But I didn't get the items to work for me, so I just had a bunch of items on me that I couldn't actually use, and that was rather frustrating. So, again, that's just all the issues that I had personally. I'm sure there's a lot of other issues that other people had. There, this is a demo, again, I feel like a lot of people are going to come and complain, and you have every right to be upset. But this is a demo we're talking about, this is their first time ever making this type of game. The amount of hate that they're already getting for something that is literally a demo and will most likely be free and or extremely cheap because again, it's just a Mario Kart ripoff. It's probably not even going to be more than like $20, okay? It's really not the end of the world. It was for the anniversary, it's for fun. The demo is meant to be a demo, there are going to be mistakes and I would love to hear your opinion. I do think that Midnight Motors is the only one that is FNAF-like, and the Ruin one, or I guess the Ruin, I call it like the Ruin one, but the one with the fucking massive Freddy head, you know what I mean. It definitely also feels FNAF-like, but the rest of them don't. The, thir the, the main track doesn't feel FNAF enough to me. There's definitely a lack of connection between FNAF and this, and the tracks are just really not it for me. The characters are great, and Midnight Motors track is okay, but the rest of the tracks need a lot of work, and I really hope that they do learn from their mistakes and they do fix it, because otherwise it's just not enjoyable for me. If you guys have any opinions on this, let me know. I know that this was a rushed video, sorry about that. I just wanted to put my opinion out there because I really like the game, I love the demo, I've been playing it for a while. I 
fucking love it. It's I'm obsessed with it. It's my new obsession. I will definitely be playing it for a live stream sometime soon. Maybe even tomorrow. I don't know. It depends on when I get this video out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you all have an amazing day. Thank you for the fan art. I do appreciate it. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye guys. Peace out.